Hello and welcome to Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. In today's video, we are going to give you an in-depth look at staying at this resort. If this one is on your list, you're trying to decide if you want to stay here, or if you've already booked it and you just want to know all of the amenities and everything that this resort has to offer, this video is going to be for you. We're going to take a deep dive into everything that is here at Port Orleans Riverside. All of the amenities, and there's a ton, the beautiful grounds, the room options. We're gonna get into the best buildings that we recommend that you request so that you're gonna get the best location at the resort. Because it is a big one, you're gonna wanna stay at certain buildings over others. And then we're gonna just go into all of the theming and the amenities and the food, everything that you're gonna experience here at Port Orleans Riverside. Let's get to it. is a moderately priced hotel at Walt Disney World. The resort is themed to resemble the Old South. This river is sort of to represent the Mississippi River and the communities in the Old South along the Louisiana River. It's important to note that Port Orleans is two separate resorts. There's Port Orleans Riverside and Port Orleans French Quarter. They're sister resorts, they're right next to each other, and they're walkable between the two, but they are separate resorts. Personally, I prefer the Riverside Resort just a little bit better. I like the theming of this one. It's a larger resort than French Quarter, which can be good and bad, but I just think that the layout of this one is so beautiful. There's a ton of waterfront that you get. I love the theme of the building buildings and the food here. I don't know. There's just something about this resort that to me, I just prefer it over French Quarter. Both are really nice. If you're interested in getting a review of the French Quarter Resort, let us know in the comments. We'll definitely be willing to deep dive into that one next. Okay, let's take a look at the resort map so that you can get a visual of the layout of this. As I said, there's two resorts. So Riverside is one on top and French Quarter is on the bottom. As you can see, Riverside is much larger than the French Quarter. Riverside is laid out in a circle and it makes it really convenient to navigate. In the middle is your main lobby. That's where all of your food options are gonna be. This little island in the middle, that's Old Man Island. That's your main pool area. That's where all the playgrounds are. That's where the fishing hole is. And everything is around it and connected by bridges. Over here, this is your alligator bayou section and it stays alligator bayou until you get about halfway around and then it turns into Magnolia Bend. These two buildings here, 95 and 90, they are your royal rooms. That's where those are gonna be located and they're connected by bridge. So the things you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to when you decide what room you're gonna request, how far is it to get to the food? How far is it to get to the closest bus stops? There's one there. And then there's ones all the way around the outsides of the resort. And how far is it to get to the kid's pool? If you can get something that's in good proximity to all three of those, then that is a huge win. Now there are two separate sections in Port Orleans Riverside. There's Magnolia Bend, which is where we are now. Absolutely beautiful. It's sort of the old plantation mansion style. And then the other side is Alligator Bayou. It's a little more rustic, more of like the Bayou New Orleans style. Of the two, I definitely prefer the Magnolia Bend one, but that's just sort of personal preference. Both have great building locations that we'll get into in a little bit. But for now, let's take a look at the Magnolia Bend side of Port Orleans Riverside. So thinking about building locations is really key because Riverside is a very big resort and it is sprawling. It's part of what I love about it, but it also means that the building location is key. Now there's different room categories that are gonna automatically put you into certain buildings. You get preferred room. And if you do that, you're automatically going to be in a building that's a little bit more conveniently located. There's also ways that you can just request certain rooms. So if you know what building that you'd like to be in and you know 
that the category of room that you've purchased is in that building, then you can request the certain building. Now there's no guarantee to that, but oftentimes you, they usually accommodate that. So I would definitely consider putting in a request for specific buildings if you know the ones that you'd like to be in. Now for the Magnolia Bend side, we are here at Partier Place and this is building number 95. And there's two different buildings that will show you that we love the location here. If you opt for the Royal Room, which is what we're getting ready to do, we'll show you what that room looks like in a minute. That's a little bit of a room upgrade, maybe a 50 to $100 difference, depending on when you're coming, but that automatically gets you into a building that's really conveniently located. So if that's at all a concern to you in terms of like walking distance to things, going for a Royal Room will automatically make sure you're set. All right, let's take a look at the Royal Rooms at Port Orleans Riverside, starting with one of my favorite features, which is these fiber optic light up headboards. You can see fireworks over the bayou here. They turn on and off with a light switch. And I just love this whimsical detail and it looks so magical at night. In fact, there are so many amazing little details in this room. I love that they call them Royal Rooms instead of Princess Rooms because the style really is very regal and elegant. There's lots of wood tones, there's brocade fabrics, ornate gold accents, just lots of great little character details everywhere you look. Now, the rooms here at the Royal Rooms are gonna be two queen beds. There's not gonna be a fifth sleeper option, so if you need that, you'll wanna look into getting a room over on the alligator bayou side. And as always, we wanna thank our friends over at Mickey Travels for setting up this day for us. We always recommend booking with the amazing folks over at Mickey Travels. There's a link below in the description. Now we've moved over to the Alligator Bayou side of Port Orleans Riverside. We are right outside of building 14. Buildings 14 and 15 are incredibly close to the food court area and the main lobby in general. It's a one minute walk, if that. Most of the rooms in these super close buildings are going to be in the preferred category. So there's like, I think six different room categories at Port Orleans and it can get a little bit confusing. But basically you have preferred, standard and royal. Royal rooms, as we showed you, are like those upgraded princess themed rooms. Preferred are, are rooms that are in the buildings closest to usually the main lobby or just have the most convenient location. And then standard are everything else. The other distinctions in the rooms are basically the views. So you might have a standard room with a river view or a standard room with a garden view. So those are the basically how you're going to determine which kind of room category you're going to want to stay in. As we said, the theming in this alligator bayou side is just a little bit different than the other, but there's no real difference in the rooms per se. The amenities in the rooms are pretty much the same. It's really just the that location within the property and making sure that you're convenient to whatever you want to be closest to, namely the food, the pool, and the bus stop. Speaking of the pool, let's take a look at all the fun things there are to do here at Port Orleans Riverside, starting with Old Man Island, which is the main pool complex. It is huge. There's a super fun water slide, tons of seating for everybody, but actually this resort has five pools, so the other four are more quiet pools. There's a very good chance there will be a pool very close to wherever you stay. There's also a huge arcade right off of the main lobby. You can rent bikes and Surrey bikes starting as low as $9 an hour. The Surrey bikes are super fun. There's a two or a four seater. You can rent them and take them all over the property. And there are tons of beautiful paths along the water that you can ride along. There are lots of activities and events always happening. Make sure you check the calendar while you're here, including outdoor movies, crafts, and more. You can even fish here. That's open mostly in the morning, so make sure you check the times for that. They also do the s'mores each night. Now they're doing Mickey s'mores, which are really fun. The graham crackers are shaped like Mickey, which is a fun little touch. There's playgrounds for the kids to play. And something very unique to Port Orleans that I love is horse and carriage rides you can do here. And even if you don't take the rides, I love hearing the clip clop of the horses all around the property. It's just very whimsical. And last but not least, there is a great store called Fulton's General Store. This place reminds me of the Disney stores of the 90s, like in the best way possible. I hope they never update it, but this is going to have all your park gear, snacks, and more. Let's talk about the dining options here at Riverside. Riverside Mill Food Court is the best. I absolutely love it. Just like a food court, there are tons of options no matter how picky your eaters are. 
they're going to find something here that they're going to like. There's something for everyone. Lots of Southern themed foods. They have a great fresh bakery. They have mobile order and pickup, which is super convenient. You can even get a whole pizza and pick it up and take it out to the pool, which is really fun. Muddy Rivers is the pool bar. That one is right next door to Old Man Island, which is the main pool. They've got all your fun cocktails here. They've got a few snacks. They even have Mickey pretzels that you can get made to order and enjoy by the pool with a little bit of cheese sauce. Super fun. Boat Rides Dining Hall is the table service restaurant here at Port Orleans. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Personally, I'd rather just eat at the food court. River Roost is right next door to it though. And this lounge is super special because this is where you can see Yeehaw Bob Jackson. He is a true piano man and a Disney World icon. He performs currently Wednesday through Saturday. Come early because he draws a crowd. Just take a listen. It's the time of your life. Let it happen with me, everybody. It's the time of your life. Living well. And lastly, it's worth mentioning that at the Sister Resort at French Quarter, they have Mickey beignets and they are so yummy. It might be worth a little trip next door to try them out. As far as transportation options at Port Orleans, it is a moderate resort and it doesn't have the amazing transportation options that some of the others do. For the most part, to get to the parks, you're gonna be utilizing the Disney bus. And it's not a bad system. You're kind of right in the middle of everything, so you're not super close to any one park, but you're not super far away from any one park either. Your transportation time is really gonna vary because it, it depends so much on how they are running the buses and how often they're coming. We did love the boat though, Port Orleans is technically a Disney Springs area resort. So the closest thing that you have to you is Disney Springs. It's about a 15 minute boat ride to get out to Disney Springs and that gives you access to everything there, which is tons of dining and entertainment. You can also take the boat next door to the sister resort, which is French Quarter. And we just found the boats to be really fun. It's a great way to travel and it's just fun watching them go by. wrap up our full guide to Port Orleans Riverside. I hope this helped you get as much as you can out of your next stay here. You've already got it booked. You're gonna love it. It's such a fun resort. I absolutely just love staying here. I hope you will too. And if there's another resort that you would love for us to cover in this detail and really give you a good guide to go by as to what it has to offer, let us know what it is in the comments. We would love your feedback. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.